We recall what the very first Ghost Reek one was about, a prophecy that came true. The founder of the Tom Clancy's Ghost Reek one series of games appeared in 2001. The plot of the game told about the near future. Totalitarianism and the Iron Curtain returned to Russia in 2008. The countries of the former USSR are returning one by one to Russia. A certain ultra-nationalist Dmitry Arbatov becomes president. And only one small Georgia is resisting Russian aggression. Russia invades Georgia with all its troops, and a small detachment of NATO special forces defies the aggressor. And in reality, it was in 2008 that Russia entered the war with Georgia, but the final, so far, is different from the final in the game. There are 15 missions in the game. You can recruit up to 6 people into a team and assemble them into 3 groups. Teammates understand commands. You can easily move into any colleague located anywhere in the location and take control of yourself. In 2021, the game still looks decent, even though it uses the DirectX 8 API. You can play it comfortably and without breaks and high screen resolution. The game will run on any built-in graphics. The system requirements are amazing. OS, Windows Register 2000 slash XP. Processor, 450 MHz Binium Registered 2 or better. Memory, from 128 MB. Video Card, 16 MB DirectX Registered Compatible 3D Card. DirectX Version, DirectX 8.0 or higher, Attached. Sound, DirectX 8 compatible sound card. Now in a smartphone for 2000 rubles there is a more powerful filling, the more this game requires. The damage model looks realistic, one hit to the head is enough to neutralize the enemy. The first mission is the Iron Dragon. A ghost squad arrives in South Ossetia, neutralizes Russian soldiers and kidnaps Booker Papashvili, a revolutionary who fought against Georgian troops. The mission takes place during the day in the pleasant autumn mountains. The second mission is Clouds of Smoke. This is a night mission, you will have to use a night vision device, otherwise absolutely nothing is visible. The NATO F-16 plane was shot down by the Russians and crashed on a farm. The pilots were captured. Our task is to rescue both pilots from captivity and neutralize all Russians. The third mission is the Stone Bell. We are holding the defense against the Russian army at the railway bridge. It is necessary to repel attacks from the east and west, and try to keep alive the UN soldiers who silently froze behind machine guns near the house by the road. The fourth mission is the Black Needle. We are still in Georgia, in some village during the day. It is necessary to rescue the surrounded UN soldiers who are sitting in the ruins of a destroyed house, while Russian soldiers are shelling their position. The fifth mission is the Golden Mountain. Everything is bad, the Russian army has captured all of Georgia and its capital Tbilisi. Our ghost squad needs to take part in the battles on the streets of Tbilisi, and get to the evacuation point on the roof of the American embassy. The sixth mission is the Witchcraft Fire. The case takes place at night on the territory of Russia in Izbursk. It is necessary to collect documents about the invasion which are freely lying on the tables in the houses on the location. The seventh mission is a paper angel. We are moving with the detachment to Latvia, to the Lyubana River. There is a bridge on it, which must be blown up to delay the offensive of Russian forces. The eighth mission is straw for zebra. The rain and mist of the Lithuanian village of Vinta will greet our squad unfriendly. The Russian forces were stopped near the village of Vinta by the advanced units of the 1st Armored Division of the U.S. Army that arrived from Germany. The Americans were almost defeated, but the ghosts managed to destroy two self-propelled guns and capture the village. The counter-attack was thwarted. The ninth mission is the Blue Storm. Rhine and the Latvian near to Swamp meet our squad. We need to eliminate the wiretapping post and capture the Russian officer. The tenth mission is the Claw of Fear. On a late rainy evening, Vilnius, bombed into trash, receives us. With the support of tanks, we are clearing the city from Russian invaders. The eleventh mission is the Knife of Dreams. At night we find ourselves in the Russian city of Lyoti. We need to rescue American soldiers from captivity, 
one of whom is the son of a senator, plus we are picking up the Russian oppositionist Marishkin. The twelfth mission is an elephant tusk. At night we disembark at the port of Murmansk. It is necessary to disable two substrates. And the news reports that the military seized power and executed President Arbutov. The thirteenth mission is the Arctic Sunday at night we make our way to the airbase near Arkhangelsk to destroy the fighter and helicopter. The fourteenth mission is Willow Bow. The city is in a hurry, all the fighters note that they are cold. It's snowing, right on the green grass. Mud slurps under my feet. Prime Minister Karpin asked the United States to send troops and attack Moscow. The Americans agreed. Together with the regular U.S. Army, we are breaking through the defenses of the Russian nationalists. The final 15th mission is the White Razor. Moscow, Lolo. It's cold in November Moscow, snow is falling, a few Muscovites are aimlessly wandering around the streets mixed with groups of nationalists. Our goal is to reach the Red Square through the historical center of the capital and storm the Kremlin. The final clashes take place near the Lenin Mausoleum. The screenwriters were able to predict the real conflict with Georgia. But the American army, in reality, did not have a chance to fight under the walls of the Kremlin. This was Tom Clancy's vision of alternative history in 2001.